Hello everyone, this is Rick and today we are going to discuss about script and religion of Indus Valley Civilization. For any civilization to function properly, script is a very essential part and religion as we know shows the faith of people on some external power. So script and relation needs to be discussed in detail in order to understand the societal structure and belief system in a civilization. So without any delay, let's move forward. Harappan civilization's writing system. How was the Harappan civilization's writing system? Unfortunately, in our last presentation, we have already discussed that the script has not been deciphered yet. But still, from the traits of writing, we can uh, draw some kind of interpretations about the advancement of the people in the field of script. So we will discuss them in detail. Harappan language remains a mystery, possibly related to Dravidian or Indo-Aryan families. So even though Harappan language uh, remains a mystery which has not been deciphered yet, uh, historians and archaeologists have tried to link it to the uh, different scripts in Dravidian which means South Indian or uh, North Indian scripts like Sanskrit, Tamil etc. Uh, they have tried to link it with them but it has been unfortunately not been possible to find any common link between any of the scripts of Dravidian or Indo-Aryan families with that of the Harappan script. Writing likely used by the elite and script uh, decipherment is still unresolved. So writing was probably used by the elite because we don't find very common usage of writing. Writing is not there everywhere in every houses, uh, in every class of people there was no record keeping system or there was no writing. Probably because most of the writings on perishable materials don't survive to this day. But still it can be assumed that the writing was mainly used only by the elite of the Harappan civilization. Over 3700 inscribed objects have been found in all of the Harappan sites combined. The excavation done yet in the Indus Valley civilization give us 3700 inscribed objects. Writing has been primarily done on seals, pottery, copper tablets and other objects. So writing has been uh, most commonly found in the seals which are a sign of authenticity used in trade and commerce. Copper tablets also had similar functions and pottery uh, had some ritualistic function or uh, it had some kind of importance, the writing had some kind of importance. Mohenjo-daro and Harappa in total accounts for 87% of all the inscriptions found in Indus Valley Civilization. So out of the 3700 inscribed objects, almost about 3200 come from Harappa and Mohenjo-daro alone. Now what are the characteristics of Harappan inscriptions? Most of the inscriptions are very short and there are a average, an average of 5 symbols only. So all of the inscriptions, among all of the inscriptions, many of them are very short and maximum of them are very short inscriptions with only 5 characters. The longest inscription in Harappan sites contain 26 signs. So this is the longest evidence of a uh, script found in Harappan civilization that is an inscription containing 26 signs. The script has not evolved and does not record a stratigraphic context. So the, uh, there in every script there are different stages of evolution. But in Harappan script we don't find any other stages of evolution like we cannot get any source material for the script or we cannot uh, say that the script was uh, uh, in raw form before and then it evolved into a fine specimen. We cannot say that because no record has been found in stratigraphic context of archaeology. 
writing was probably the language of the ruling elite as discussed before only the rich and wealthy places which seems to have a highly technological advancement in infrastructure has evidence of writing so writing is not common in all parts and all houses of harappan civilization it was probably the language of the ruling elite the lack of consensus on affiliation to harappan language so common people do not have a uh, usage of writing in harappa the common people uh, do not use writing as a medium of expression it has only been found in very small amount in the ruling elite houses now inscription and inscription style how was the writing style and how uh, was it carved in different materials Harappan script features 400 to 450 basic signs logo syllabic in nature so there are only about 400 to 450 characters which we can interpret from all of the uh, scripts that has been found yet the inscriptions are generally written left to right and some in bostfeden style so right to left is the most common a uh, feature of the inscription the writing starts from the left hand side and goes to right as it is there today in most of the uh, common scripts in the modern world but some has bostfeden style which means that in the first line writing will go from uh, right, uh, right to left and in the second line it will go from left to right so where it is ending from there only it will start from in the next line so that is the bostfeden style inscriptions are crammed on seals due to space limitations so uh, the artist or the writer of the inscription seem to have a uh, less sense of spacing therefore uh, when the inscription starts the writing uh, the scripts are very much or the letters are very much big in size but as we move forward we find that the writing becomes constricted in order to uh, occupy the space in order to stay within the space longer inscriptions on objects are found at mohenjodaro and harappa so only the sites of mohenjodaro and harappa has a few long inscriptions other inscriptions have an average of 5 characters in them seals may have been used for economic transactions and identity markers so as as we have discussed before while discussing the trade and commerce of harappan civilization that the seals may have some function of authenticity which was used in economic transactions and also as identity markers now users of harappan writing what were they used for what was the function of harappan writing now this is very difficult to interpret unless we decipher the writing but until then the writing appears frequently on seals likely related to trade and business so most of the writing we can see present on seals which can be related to the a symbol of identity and authenticity in trade and commerce textiles impressions on some of the ceiling suggest commercial use so probably some of uh, the seals were used for transporting of textiles uh, when textile was transported uh, the seal was placed on them as a marker of identity or authenticity and thus we get impressions of textile on some of the seals so that uh, proves the fact that it was used for commercial purpose seals may have had various functions beyond trade such as amulets or identity tokens so just like today we use uh, amulets and uh, uh, lockets in necklaces in the form of writings uh, similarly in those days seals may also have been used as amulets or may have been hanged with necklaces in order to be uh, used as identity tokens 
Evidence of writing on various materials and objects have been found in Harappa. So in Harappan culture, writing was not only done on seal or copper tablets, it was done on different kind of ceramics and also other artifacts. So evidence of writing has been found on various materials and objects. Broken seals imply intentional destruction to prevent reuse. So sometimes just like uh, when we open a official letter we break the seal so that it is not reused or people can understand that it is not a as it is not limited to one eye only similarly seals were also broken purposefully in order to denote the fact that it will not be reused or the purpose of the seal has already been fulfilled now distribution implications of inscriptions what was the distribution of a, a inscription and how why were they implied inscriptions found on a range of objects indicates that a wide use was there in daily life so inscriptions have been found in many kinds of object which project the fact that there was a wider use of inscription in daily life of the people in harappan culture Writing on pottery signifies the fact that craft production and economic transaction also has usage of writing, also had the usage of script. So script was used in the case of craft production probably because it, it was a material of economic transaction. The restricted use of writing suggests that there was a controlled access to literacy. So as we have discussed before that every house and every material in Harappan civilization did not have a script and uh, did not have the use of writing and writing was not at all common in Harappan civilization. It was very restricted and so we can understand the fact that there was limited access to literature and uh, very few people in the Harappan society was actually literate. Duplication of miniatures and copper tablets indicates that this was a specialized production. So seal production can also be assumed to be a specialized craft industry because we find duplication of miniatures and copper tablets. So duplication of the original seal used to be practiced by the Harappan people which indicates the fact that there was specialized section of people who dedicated their lives only to seal making and that was also a mode of subsistence for the people in Harappan culture. In Dholavira, we find a signboard that may represent civic or administrative information. On the left hand side picture, you can see a series of letters that is actually the signboard from Dholavira and these letters may contain information about administration of the town. So this is one of the most important finding uh, of uh, writing in Harappan civilization in the form of Dholavira signboard. Now what were the religious beliefs of the Harappan people? Every culture and society has a faith. That faith may not be linked to some religion, but definitely the, every culture, whenever there is a human civilization, they believed in some supernatural powers and put faith on them. Similarly, Harappan culture also had a belief system which can be termed as Harappan religion. Worship of female goddesses are associated with fertility and this was very significant. So fertility cult has been assumed to be the prevalent form of religion in Harappa and that can be witnessed from the large scale worship of female goddesses that we find all around the sites in Harappan culture. John Marshall identified that fertility is the key of Harappan, key feature of Harappan religion. In 1931, the famous archaeologist and director general of Archaeological Survey of India, John Marshall, uh, focused on the fact that the fertility cult was the key feature of Harappan religion. 
Terracotta female figurines often represent as mother goddesses. So people believed in fertility cult and so terracotta female figurines has been uh, projected to represent uh, represent as mother goddesses figures of mother goddesses as you can see on the left hand side picture that was one of the chief artifacts regarding religious beliefs of indus valley civilization figurines attribute attributes and context suggest varied significance not solely to religious so sometimes this figure uh, figurines which have been found all around the harappan civilization may have different other context or uses or other kind of significance and may not be limited only as a religious figure only a nude woman head downwards with legs apart is seen as a fertility symbol so a nude woman uh, with a, her head projected downwards and legs spread apart has been seen to be as a symbol of fertility cult in the uh, harappan culture interpretations of terracotta figurines numerous terracotta figurines have been found all around the sites in harappan civilization now how can they be interpreted what was their significance and what were their uses study by alexandra ardelenu jensen in 2002 suggests that there was varied use of terracotta figurines and unlike john marshall uh, this uh, archaeologist stated that uh, it all the terracotta figurines can not only be limited to the fertility cult but had different other uses also some female figurines may have been a part of harappan domestic rituals so many of the figurines may have been a part of some domestic rituals in the houses of common people even today we have many domestic rituals in our houses so some of the fe female figurines may have been used for that same purpose figurines with cup like indentations might have held oil for lamps so many figurines have a uh, head dresses which uh, which resemble the symbol of a cup and those things may have been used as oil for lamps so uh, it may have been the case that the head dresses of many of the figurines uh, were used for lighting lamps the matr the mat matronly type and slim type female figurines depict different aspects of society so the matronly type and the slim type female figurines have been found all around the harappan sites and they dep depict different aspects of the society it may not have been related to fertility cult only many female figurines have been found in broken state which indicates the fact that they were probably used for votive offerings in temples so many of the female figurines can be thought to be used as offerings in different temples all around the harappan sites even today uh, people in the subcontinent in the indian subcontinent offer uh, statues as votive offerings to their gods so similar system may have been prevalent in the harappan culture also next up we have fertility iconography and animal symbolism so there was fertility cult as uh, pr uh, projected by as told by john marshall and also animal symbolism depiction of different kind of animals in different artifacts of harappan civilization uh, projects the fact that uh, these were very significant lingas and yonis represent male and female creative energies so in ancient uh, hindu culture we find usage of lingas and yonis which project the fact of male and female energies so similar system may have been existing in the harappan culture also because different uh, symbols which resemble lingas and yonis have been found in many of the harappan sites george dales contested that the cultic significance of lingas and yonis so these may have had some kind of cultic significance as we have it 
in the modern hinduism today so similar kind of thing probably used to exist because we find evidence of many uh, figurines which uh, resemble lingas and yonis that is male and female creative energies people tree often appears probably revered sometimes associated with a female figure so people tree ha may had some anthropomorphic significance in the harappan culture because we often see depiction of people tree which uh, projects the fact that it was very much revered and sometimes it has also been associated with a female figure which already uh, can be seen as a mother goddess animals like humped bull snake elephant also have some kind of uh, symbolic significance so in uh, indian subcontinent many animals are considered to be holy and people respect them and revere them so similar kind of cultural aspect may have been existing in the indus culture as well because we find existence of animal figurines like humped bull snake and elephants the composite animals on seals may represent mythological or religious concepts so we find different uh, composite animals uh, where it seems like uh, many animals have been combined together to form a to uh, look like a single animal uh, this may be an indication of some kind of mythological beliefs or some other supernatural religious concept now harappan funerary practices what kind of burial system or what kind of disposition of the dead used to exist in the harappan culture multiple burial types have been identified with pot burials coffin burials and brick or stone lined graves so graves have been identified of numerous types we find burials in clay pots we find burials in coffins and we also find burials where the grave have been lined with brick or stone evidence of cremation at harappan sites are also found particularly in the site of lothal so sometimes we find that people used to burn the dead bodies and uh, there used to be a practice of cremation which has been evidenced in the site of lothal and a few other sites also grave goods and ornaments are found with the deceased which indicate the fact that there was a belief in afterlife so people used to believe the fact that uh, after the dying uh, there used to be some kind of mystic realm where the soul used to be transferred so that is called belief in afterlife and therefore this belief in afterlife can be evidenced by the fact that there was grave goods in many of the burial sites of the harappan civilization the direction of burial varied with some bodies facing north so th there was no fixed direction in which the burial or the figure was placed in the burial uh, in many of the burials we find some of the bodies were facing north but this was not a common practice in all of the harappan sites there was no direction particular direction in which a figure used to be laid in the burial certain animals like humped bull are found in burials also which project the fact that the humped bull has some kind of ritual importance and some kind of religious uh, importance so humped bull is still considered in the indian subcontinent as a very holy figure and a religious entity so similar thing may have existed in the indus culture as well now harappan worship and ritual sites so few of the harappan worshiping and ritual sites we will go through the great bath at mohenjodaro is one of the most significant structure in indus valley civilization uh, which is in mohenjodaro and it suggests 
ritualistic and ceremonial use there is a great uh, swimming pool like structure and uh, di different kind of evidences around the great bath in the citadel area of mohenjo-daro suggest the fact that it had some kind of ritualistic and ceremonial use steatite bull statues and terracotta bull uh, has been found in mohenjo-daro which imply a cult significance so bull seems to have been one of the most important and revered possession of the harappan people because we find existence of bull in many kind of belief context in many kind of ritualistic context and sometimes bull used to be made of steatite also which suggests the importance and significance of the bull figurine ceilings are there which represent cult animals and may have been carried in possession so some uh, seals uh, different kind of animals present in seals may suggest the fact that they were cult animals of some specific community and they were used to be carried by people because of some faith system because of some belief system they uh, they used to carry the ceilings with animal motifs in them Terracotta mask may have also some kind of protective or auspicious roles. So we find existence of terracotta mask in many of the Harappan site which indicates the fact that they may have some kind of protective or ritualistic role to play in the Harappan culture. Kali Bangan had featured five altars which indicate ritualistic practices and many kind of items have been found on, on those altars which project the fact that there was a ceremonial gathering in which people used to burn some specific items in fire. On the left hand side you can see one example of such an altar found in Kali Bangan which had a very important ritualistic importance. Now Harappan deities and iconography, even though we cannot uh, conclude that there existed a specific type of deity or a specific type of religion, cult, whatever, but still there was definitely an existence of Harappan deities and iconography. Male god representation have been found on in steatite seed uh, seal discovered at Mohenjo-daro. So male god representations have also been found in the steatite seals which have been discovered on the site of Mohenjo-daro. Figurine of a female with a fan-shaped headdresses suggests divine association. So female figurines have been found all around the in their sites and uh, with elaborate fan-shaped headdresses may uh, project to the fact that there was a divine association with all these female figurines. Terracotta piece resembling a linga and yoni pitha have been found at Kalimbangan which uh, may indicate to male and female energies found uh, all around the Indian subcontinent. Depictions of animals on seals and ceilings could indicate deities or mythological beings. So sometimes animals are depicted on seals and uh, ceilings which could indicate some kind of mythological belief. Religious artifacts like amulets and copper tablets have also been found all around the Harappan cultural sites. On the left hand side you can see the picture of a famous seal commonly termed as Pashupati seal and many of the archaeologists uh, denote the uh, project the fact that it was an early representation of the Hindu god Shiva because we find a male figurine with horns sitting in a yogic posture and uh, this have been related to Hindu iconography of Pashupati along with four kind of animals namely elephant, tiger, rhinoceros and bull. So all these animals have also been found linked to the Pashupati motif of uh, the Harappan civilization. 
the harappan cultural expression and artifacts what was the cultural expression through the artifacts in harappan civilization stone icons of lingas and yonis might indicate fertility related worship so this is one of the most important significance of the stone uh, statues or the stone icons of lingas and yonis that it may have some kind of relation with the fertility cult and thus lingas project to the male energy and yonis project to the female form of energy terracotta figurines may represent both deities and everyday individuals so we do not uh, find uh, the concluding evidence on uh, which we can base the fact that terracotta figurines had some kind of ritualistic importance they may have been uh, some kind of ritualistic figure or also they may have been a figure uh, used to indicate everyday individuals worship likely extended to trees indicated the presence uh, of indicated by the presence of a people tree so we find existence of anthropomorphic belief system where trees and other natural elements used to be worship because we find existence of people tree motifs seals depict a range of animals and symbolic motifs suggesting the fact that there was a rich mythological tapestry so there uh, used to be uh, some kind of mythological stories and that can be evidenced by the fact that there is a large scale depiction of animals as symbolic motifs in different kind of ritualistic context rituals and religious items suggest that a complex societal structure with various beliefs and practices used to uh, exist in the indus valley civilization so there was a complex religious system with various kind of belief system with various kind of rituals that used to exist in the indus valley civilization cultures now what was the overview and uh, overview of script and religion in harappan civilization so what have we discussed until now in this presentation we will present an overview of that complex writing system the first point of this entire presentation is the complex writing system that used to exist in the indus valley civilization and that can be evidenced by the existence of over 3700 inscribed objects found featuring a script with about 400 to 450 signs which suggested a sophisticated writing system used primarily by elite for trade identity or administrative purposes so the writing system was very complex with over 3700 inscribed seals 450 symbols or characters and it was reserved to the elite which was used as a system of identity and also for administration fertility and worship strong evidence of fertility worship through female figurines and potential mother goddesses worship indicating a society deeply engaged in fertility rites and possibly the veneration of a proto shaktism so shaktism is a, a hindu cult where we believe in female power where we believe in motherly power and that the earliest evidence of shaktism have been found in the indus valley with the potential of a mother goddess worship varied religious practices artifacts such as terracotta figures seals lingas yonis along with the prominence of people tree in iconography point to a very complex religious life that included both domestic rituals and formal type offerings so religion cannot be restricted only uh, in the ruling elites only uh, they were had the purpose of both domestic rituals and formal temple offerings funerary customs 
मल्टीपल बडियल प्रैक्टिस एंड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ बडियल प्रैक्टिस फाउंड इन इंदस वैली कल्चर एंड द इंक्लूशन ऑफ ग्रेव गुड्स इन दम सजेस्ट अ बिलीव इन लाइफ आफ्टर डेथ एंड पॉसिबली अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड सोसाइटल हायर एड की रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द आफ्टर लाइफ सो पीपल बिलीव्ड इन लाइफ आफ्टर डेथ और पीपल बिलीव्ड इन सम काइंड ऑफ अ मिस्टिक रेल्म वेर दी सोल्स यूज टू बी ट्रांसफर्ड आफ्टर डाइंग सो दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्यूनरेरी कस्टम्स ऑफ द हरप्पन कल्चर नाउ कल्चरल इंटीग्रेशन द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ राइटिंग रिलीजियस बिलीव एंड फ्यूनरेरी प्रैक्टिस इन टू डेली लाइफ ऑफ द इंदस वैली पीपल डिपिक द फैक्ट दैट हरप्पन्स हैड एडवांस्ड लेवल ऑफ सोसाइटल डेवलपमेंट एंड कल्चरल रिचनेस सो पीपल हैड अ वेरी वेल फॉर्म सोसाइटी विथ रिच एलिमेंट्स ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट एंड रिलीजियस बिलीव इन इट सो दैट वॉज ऑल आउट द इंदस वैली सिविलाइजेशन स्क्रिप्ट एंड रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग टू मी सो सो पेशेंटली please go through the other videos in the indus valley sites that will give you a comprehensive idea in detail about all aspects of indus valley culture in great depth so that was all for today and please support me so that i can bring brighter contents in future thank you so much